And as you saw on the bottom, that's from a ray of hope. And if you've watched This Is The Day at all, our next guest is going to be very familiar with you because he's been on before and is a great friend to Catholic TV. Mario, how are you doing? I am doing great, Jay. How are you? I'm doing great. I have to, I'm doing great. I have to tell you, so I had, I had seen that before, and it okay. just looks spectacular. A Vocation is the documentary. Uh, tell me yeah. what your inspiration was behind that. You know, um, uh, as you know, we produce a lot of different content here for live events and also for television. And it really, um, it came through inspiration through a priest friend of ours that um, shared the idea that vocations are down. Uh, the, the priestly vocation is, is paramount in, in spreading the faith. I mean, we need priests in the Catholic Church. And when it was brought to my attention, um, we, we talked about it with our team. And I said, you know what? We've never breached anything like this. And and we started to discern about it, started to put together a plan. And I said, you know what? We're going to do this. We've never done anything like it. Uh, it's a short film. Uh, and that was sort of like an inspiration through a priest friend, uh, Father Richard Carton from the Diocese of Patterson, New Jersey, brought to the attention from one of our team members here, Jack Garneau. And, and watching it, there's a number of, here's one we're looking at right now. There's a number of people that we see featured in the documentary. How many are there? And could you tell us maybe a little bit about the people who are featured in it? Yeah. So we we um, we featured a cross section of men. We we featured men that were discerning, men that were in seminary, men that just became ordainedly became priests, and then men that were priests for for some time. Uh, and then I think we have a vocation director in there as well. So we have a wide range of men that are sharing their experiences. We also had men, a man that was discerning to be a priest for three years, was in seminary, and then discerned out. So mm -hmm. we, what, what, the way the film evolved, and uh, um, Ryan Dever, put, our director and producer on the film, did an amazing job it, just by interviewing people and getting their viewpoint as to how they discern, how they hear a calling, and what does that calling mean in their in their various points of their life? We were able to put together this sort of like really guttural sort of reality, real kind of documentary in the sense that um, we're not painting a pretty picture. We're painting a picture that's just real as to how people uh, feel that hear that calling. Um, so the, the the narrative just evolved, you know. So uh, through the various people that we chose to interview for the film. And as we paint that picture, some of the numbers that really stuck out to me, Mario, was, for instance, there were 65,000 priests, and now there's 30,000 priests, which is a huge yeah. decline. Yeah. And then yeah. they start to talk about the Eucharist and yeah. how important that is to our faith, and we need people to be able to get us that Eucharist. Yeah, I mean, you know, without priests, there's no sacraments. Without sacraments, there's no Eucharist, right? So yeah. it's really important. Um, I, what I love about the film is that it really touches base on uh, the men that are, you know, might hear an inkling of, of a calling. Uh, the film speaks to the ordinary person, the ordinary man that maybe would have heard a call and maybe didn't really pursue it further. Uh, and the film reveals that you know, just because you hear a call and then you even go into discernment and then you go into vocation, I'd rather go into... Um, a seminary doesn't necessarily mean that you become a priest. Uh, we found out that men that were in seminary make wonderful husbands and, and mm -hmm. lead beautiful, life-fulfilled lives. So uh, there's a lot of benefit to just hearing that calling. So the idea in the film is really to provoke a man to say, you know, let me check this out. Maybe it might be something that I might be interested in. Let me investigate what this means. Um, so that's why I like I like the film as the way it turned out because it really is not your typical sort of vocation film to speak to only men that are hearing the calling at that moment. It's it's a film that is potentially to a man that might might hear it in the future as well. Yeah, no, I agree. I I remember I had uh, I knew these two guys, friends, and one wanted to go to a formation just to see discern if he was going to become a priest, and his friend tagged along. Well, the guy who went to see if he wanted to be a priest did not become a priest. His friend right. entered and is now a priest. Yeah. So you just never know. Uh, where can yeah. people watch Vocation? 
Sure. Uh, it's on our it's on the Array of Hope channel right now, which is like a Roku. It's on Roku, Apple TV, and various um, phone devices. Um, if you just Google, the simplest way to do is just Google Array of Hope, A R R A Y of Hope, and various things that we do will show up. And you just pick the Array of Hope channel. You click on the Array of Hope channel. It's free. You have to subscribe. Uh, and just the the app is downloadable on all the app stores, uh, and that's how you could initially you know find it right now. We're almost out of time, Mario, but I I need to let our people know who might not know what a ray of hope is. Can you tell them yeah. about it because you guys do such a great job. Always impressed yeah. by your work. Yeah, I mean, uh, to the core of it, we're a multimedia organization. We evangelize uh, the te teachings of the Catholic Church through live events, concerts films, retreats, uh, um, music, uh, and also podcasts. So if it has to do with media, media is our conduit to revealing the truth of the faith. Well, Mario, thank you for your partnership with Catholic TV and for so many Pleasure. years and in so many ways. And we appreciate you being on today and, and have a great day. You too. Thanks, Mario.